I've cared about social justice all my life and when I heard about power and, and learned about community organizing and, and um, the way that it brings people together across class and race and religion across all sectors of the city, it just felt like that's exactly what the city needs to, to make change. Uh, it's the one place that I can be in my life where there are many people of color, where there are many people of different socioeconomic backgrounds, um, and that's really important to me to get involved in something where everybody's pulling together for a city. It's like everything that you care about, if you have a home or whatever, it needs to be taken care of and it needs to be financially supported. So that is the main reason that I financially support power. I was also impressed, impressed by the spirit of the people and the attitude of the people there. Such a positive and caring group of people who were also passionate about, about justice and, and fighting racism. And so that, that drew me in and ever since last August, I've become very involved with uh, many aspects of power and it continues to impress me and lives up to its, to its, to its promise of, of treating all people with respect and kindness but yet also challenging people to do the work of justice. And it's just such a blessing to be able to work with such a, a multiracial, multi-faith group of people here in Philadelphia and I know it's making a difference in our city and in our country. I was um, amazed that when we started these one-on-one -on -one conversations where you just go up to someone and ask them about you know how they are and how are they feeling and what concerns them about the um, state of the city or the nation today. Um, mainly you would hear, you know, oh, I don't have a job, or my health is failing, or they cut my benefits, or um, the schools are terrible, my children are not getting an education. You hear, you know, a lot of those things, and I was surprised that um, there was an organization out there who was willing to listen, and not only to listen, but to bring those, those problems forth. It's part of a national movement. It's not just about the city of Philadelphia. It's connected to um, national, statewide and national issues. And so the um, influence that power can have isn't just about city politics and quality of life and, and, and justice, but um, the influence is statewide and, and national. Power just grows and builds on itself, and it, it grew on me and I'm excited to help power grow. It has gotten bigger and better and it has um, improved uh, in so many areas. I've met so many people who are so dedicated to making our city better and um, I feel like just being able to contribute um, to being able to sustain that organization is a really important thing to do because important things are happening and my small contribution um, can go a, a long way towards making that continue to happen. And I've become so impressed with the importance and the effectiveness of power that I was, it was not hard for me to say I want to I wanna be a giver and give on a regular basis so that power can continue to do the amazing work that it's doing. We, um have come so far. We have met with the key decision leaders, the people that used to slam doors in our faces. We have been escorted out of City Hall. We have been turned down for meetings with certain uh, council members, city council members. But that's all um, in the past because now with our persistence, we can't turn our back on the current situation of the city today and we sure can't turn the, turn our back on our future um, generations for their current situation of the city. And it was good to, to come to um, people of faith so you know power is made, of, made up of congregations and religious congregations and of all faiths and those are the people who really have put their faith into action and um, I believe in power and I will continue to believe and sustain um, power's initiatives because I honestly believe that uh, the work we're doing is critical to our future. The other thing that made me become involved with power is my faith in God and especially where Jesus says 
What you do for the least of us, you do for me. And I see that as my calling and my service to lift up wherever I can and work for any group of people that are depressed in the society in which we live. And this is why I'm so passionate about power, so dedicated to power, because this is what we do. And everything that we do is faith-based because we're doing God's work.